So I'm making another video with my flowchart. The topic for today is what is emotionality? So I was thinking one day some time ago that um, according to my model, emotions always precede thoughts. And um, so they always go together. But uh, people sometimes talk about how thinking and feeling are different. So I was thinking about how I can reconcile this, like um, how is it possible you can think without feeling according to this model? And um, in general, how is it possible that one person could be more emotional than another person? And I think part of the answer is that when you're doing a purely intellectual activity, such as perhaps taking a science or math test, um, you probably have some kind of emotional impulse that makes you want to take the test. Like maybe you think to yourself, I like math or I want to do well at the test. And that's what gets you started on the test. But once you begin the activity, your brain uh, shuts off and ignores um, further emotional stimulus until your task is finished. I think that's one way that a person can... Um, well, I guess it's the way that a person thinks without feeling, is that the feeling gets the thought started and then the thought ignores further feelings until it's finished. And then once you're finished, you can you're receptive to new emotional inputs again. But I guess that's one of the ways that one person could be less emotional than another person is that he is better at ignoring um, emotional inputs, which I guess can be good for one thing because it means he can finish his thoughts while being less distracted. But on the other hand, he might be less in tune with his own emotions. And I guess we assume most of the time that women are usually more emotional than men. I think it's true, generally speaking. Uh, but I think this would be true regardless of whether the stereotype is true or not, that a person who happens to be more emotional probably uh, is just more receptive to his emotions, and a less emotional person doesn't ha not have feelings. He just doesn't receive them as much. And I think another way a person can be more emotional is that he could have more values, because an emotion comes from a fact that's related to your values. And of course, um, both emotional and unemotional people experience lots of different things in life, so I don't think it comes from imagining or experiencing different things. It must come from uh, having more values. And the first example I thought of this, I guess is kind of a gross example, but it, I, I thought of farts, that like, um, uh, that like some people are offended just by the word, but like some other people, they fart in front of each other and they think it's funny. I think what happens with the more emotional person is that farts smell bad, so of course they don't like farts. But then uh, the word fart is associated with the action fart, and so um, they don't like the word fart either. So like a teenage girl might get offended even to hear the word fart. Um, but I suppose like a masculine temperament would probably reduce his values to as little as possible rather than multiply them. Like maybe I would imagine a more feminine personality would do. Like for instance, um, men might think that uh, the real problem isn't the fact that the fart smells bad, but that the, the fact that the fart smells bad is a warning that you shouldn't eat poop. And so what's offensive isn't the bad smell or the word. What's offensive is the possibility that you could eat something that's bad for you. So that that might be why that uh, that kind of thought process might be the reason behind why like guys sometimes fart in front of each other and they think it's funny and they don't care even if it smells bad. But like a teenager girl might get offended even from hearing the word fart. Is that she has more values and therefore she cares about more things. And um, I guess that's everything I wanted to say. In summary, um, you're able to think without feeling, not because you don't have feelings, but because you ignore further emotional inputs while you're thinking. And that um, that's one way of being a less emotional person, and another way a person is more emotional or less emotional is whether he has more or fewer values. A person with fewer values would react emotionally to fewer situations, uh, whereas a person with more values um, has more opportunity to react emotionally because he cares about more things.